who may or may not be familiar with Frozen Dinner. Um, militia on Belaya have uh, stolen a bunch of supplies in order to survive the winter. And the Russians are not happy about it. Uh, militia are going to be starting around the factory in Fox 3 here on Belaya. Russians are moving in to uh, take down the factory fob and hold that until all uh, the militia have been dealt with. There's also, uh, I do believe, the militia have an MTLB with an AA gun on it. Don't know if the MTLB AA is actually usable. It's uh, everything says here. Gun is usable. However, the MTLB may not be moved. Uh, militia also have a mortar to play with and two HMGs. Um, part of their stockpile fob. They're going to have a Logi truck to draw whatever supplies they're going to use for the entire operation. Uh, and they're also running a pretty light squad. Two FTLs, one AR, one medic. So pretty standard from all things. Uh, Russians, on the other hand, do have a uh, standard squad. Plus, we're getting a map roll. I usually try to save you guys from dealing with this in the background. Uh, sorry, the Russians get two FTLs, two ARs, one medic. Um, so that's the standard squad. Uh, militia don't get the standard squad. They also have four lats, two engineers, a transport truck. This is interesting. I thought Russia used to get like an BTR or something. All right, welcome to sunny Belaya, boys. Today, we have heard some news yesterday that the militia is stockpiling weapons at Foxo 358 area. There's news that there's some heavy weapons there and possibly a vehicle. Hey, we need to go and destroy uh, Hop down. Ground comms, my apologies. Huh? No worries, Morgan. So our plan here is to do a two-prong assault to clear that warehouse area. Squad 5 and 3 will take the transport truck and drive to the south towards the transport marker at Echo 623. From there they will dismount, cross the bridges. Infantry needs to use bridges to cross water since the water is cold. Infantry will cross move up towards the mine markers. The mine markers on the map are our staging points. We'll secure those first. After we have secured the staging points, we'll call in smoke on the enemy objective to obscure possible enemy he heavy weapons so they don't have line of sight to shoot us on the open ground. Once we start the push from the north and south side, from the north side, one, six, and two will assault, from the south, three and five. We'll assault towards the objective, destroy any heavy weapons, and fortify the location for further missions. Any questions on the plan? If no, your squad leaders will take you to your starting points, and we'll get ready to move. All right, as else you can break him up. Mm. Seven days to die. I don't know what that game is. Welcome in. And we are live with round one of Frozen Dinner. And immediately, transport almost runs over Ask Me to Ramp and exfil south there's two squads in there so these guys are obviously going to be infill from the south three and five everyone else running north and i'm not in command chat 
Oh, and Midas is over here too. Lamau, uh, Radio Free Belaya. Let's get some command comms. All right, so <laughs> I do hope uh, there are no problems in Militia Land. Ask me. Wait. Oh, he's actually trying to catch up with them? There you go. All right, let's take a look. Uh, Mill running towards the outer limit of the fob already. Looks like they're taking the hill to the south southeast. And there's also, I guess this is a hill. This is like a hilly area here. So it would make sense for them not to move into the city and just hold this position because this is pretty open if memory serves on the back side of the city. And I'm wrong because there are trees everywhere. Maybe they should move into the city. It's kind of, uh, this actually would be kind of a great place. This, isn't this build, doesn't this building have a rear exit? There's one. There is a second exit. I would think getting in this building would be the best position. Forward. And then you could always run back. You got enough cover that you can try to make it happen. Uh, especially since you only have one AR per squad. You gotta move your rifles forward. Um, there's also a squad in the north, making sure they don't cross the map border. Another squad in the southwest doing the same thing. And it looks like they have abandoned everything in the middle here. It is just lawn darts holding the radio. And a squad six run by Colty is holding pretty close south to the objective. Russia staging on their push points in the north. And it does look like we are going to see some the north guys move ahead first. Good luck. I'll stay back in Thank the city you. so I don't die. Six seven Alaska, welcome in. Ed Busta leading the first fire team across the river into the AO. Tell you one thing though, in between rounds, I'm definitely taking a break. Zachy, let's pick up the pace. We gotta cross this bridge fast. Two squads north. Crossing the bridge now. Mill pushing a fire team plus further out. A fire team. Keeping one fire team on the uh, their main fallback point, watching the bridge. They got a bridge. They're watching the south bridge. I don't think they're going to push across this bridge. They're going to push across the rail bridge uh, around the uh, the bunker complex. The tunnel, rather. Can you cover me on a run? He's on the run, guys. Oh, Lundard's by himself. Still chilling. Looking around. He's digging something. Uh, 12 left, so not sure where that came from. Unless someone left, uh, <laughs> always valid on, but I don't think that's the case. Some 29th ID guys chilling, sitting here. We got some rifleman sandbags deployed. Does look like rifleman sandbags or FTL sandbags. They're different color. Interesting. They are a different color. So I'm pretty sure those are the ones deployed by the Rafflemen. 
And in the south, Russian forces hopping on in, coming on down the hill. Uh, Contact report west side about 100, 100 to 150 meters. We're going north. Nah. Out of there. Yeah. Area? Golf 2 to 1. Yeah, I think it's on the hill. And contact is traded. Looks like we got a force falling back here. We're going to zoom into Mad Doctor, who's an AR. All the rifles are firing. It's actually a great position for this AR. Enemies at the hill at Golf 2 to 1. Caught them as they ran through town. 6, continue to Foxshot 2, 9, 6. This is also another bad position. Um, depending on how much elevation these guys have, yeah, that's going to be bad. They're going to have to fight through a lot of contact off their flank here. If these guys hold their fire until the last minute and they stay out of sight, they're actually... Oh, we're actually going to get an overrun here. Head Busted got shot close range by Bassey. They're probably right on the uh, scat head mark. Right, let's get on my line. Grenade thrown. Yeah. Thrown too far. Head Busted... Uh, I think put a shot on Gamoric and Bassey just stood up and took some bullets, so... It's your first death right there. Right, Crazy that the... that the friendly forces for, uh, Russia... or for Mill over here don't have eyes on this. Because of all the foliage in the way. Alright, frag. That frag might have a bounce. No, it doesn't. Mork runs away. Zaki, you gotta cross the road and get to the mine marker. Covid at hole one. And it looks like we do have a general collapse here. This squad is actually collapsing back to the objective. Support six is crossing. Five also pulling a fire team. Looks like they're pulling a fire team back. Tunnel, uh, at about 60 seconds. Meanwhile, Russians in the south have crossed the rail bridge and the, the guys watching the bridge in the south uh, Alpha Guido's fire team pulling back to the uh, the wooded island there. The wooded island, that's not right. The hill. That's better. They're still a better part of a squad plus defending this approach for these two squads. And these guys are still going to have fire that goes across. There are a lot of woods here, but I think it's not going to be a big problem. They're like those. No confirm KIA. Might be like oh, we crossed the wall. Zaki crossed the road, guys. Zaki secured first row of buildings to your southwest. Don't cross the second road yet. Hey, squadron, can you Copy check the southwest 222 compound with your binding tunnels? 222 compound? Yep, I'm gonna go to Yeah, 222. Darkin thinks he saw something. Six and get to that map order if you want. If one is fine for now. Yeah, no content. That. Move up to north of six. six is gonna um, or two is gonna make a run for the map border here, so we're gonna get contact, Killer J's fire team West. on the map border. No, nope, never mind. Oh, Koei got shot up as he ran in the open. Mishman and Toaster caught him in the open here. Distraction smoke. It looks like they have fired and they have fallen back. RPG. Not sure where that was going, but Sas is dead. Oh no. I didn't realize Sasa was stuck out there. Don't let them pin you down. We position. Get down, get down. 
Uh, but these guys are falling back now. We have a uh, secured train tunnel. We're poking out now. Are we good to poke? Or you want us to hold? Ooh, those are good shots. Please, for now, we are uh, repositioning to get good cover on your side. Bad problem. Three is about to get shot up. They have... The Russian three have, uh, has elevation. Out from those buildings. I don't think they can see anything yet. Six is falling back to help defend as one is going to have a strong presence here. Not to mention there's these compound, these buildings on the east edge of the building, the compound here that they're going to have some cover in. Shots being randomly fired here by Mill holding the North Hill. Mortars also now going north. Might be seeing them fire here any second now. Random shots in the south. Russia pretty uh, pretty intact here in the north. displace the enemy at the mine markers. They're pushing in. This is not good. We're working on it. Three have, can't push into theirs. They have contact on the ridge. Here comes the mortars. Mortars going north. Oh no, that's a big concentration. The enemy's at the ridge. Yeah, we're working on it. I imagine the mortars are going to land somewhere around here. Six. Have we secured your staging? Funny, Zaki's running away. Mortars are short. So two is here. Mortars landed about 60 meters short. Yeah, two will secure this. Give us two minutes. Second salvo fired. Oh no, this must be a ranging shot. Only heard one boom. All right, so Zaki's gonna hop on the hill. Here comes the next mortar. Is also short. Short, thank God. Yeah. Who's getting targeted by that mortar? Bravo, can follow. Yeah, two spot. The mortars are short. Okay. Reloaded a full salvo. I don't know where these... Ooh, shots fired from the main compound. Oh no! Han... Or sorry, Duck died. Looks like he got splash damage from outside the building. I knew that was coming. They're gonna make a run for it while the mortars are down. We have audio on the enemy mortar system. Do you want us to maneuver and take that out? This uh, mine marker, Fox 4, is clear. Copy that. 29th ID guys trying to make a run around here. Close by. Copy. I've got fire team wrapping to deal with that, but do you want me to send the other fire team to deal with the mortar? Deal with the mortar. The mortar's in the middle of the compound. Call in smoke if necessary. Okay. Lib's down, and Miller taking some casualties up here. Fulcrum is also dead. Has the enemy fallen back to the west. Getting shot from down the hill. Potentially. Uh, Russia making some pushes here in the south. Interesting play. They're about ready to run into the, the short force very close to them. Matter of fact, they're already trading fire, it looks like. Colty and Roy are down. Looks like they got chumped. Mortar's doing some more work north side. Lots of shots being fired and not really much of anything. 
Ooh, Russ eats a grenade. And it's the guys who are watching the south bridge are just firing from a far off position. Smoke deployed. And it's Utopian is gonna fall back. Space Chimp is all out here by himself trying to draw fire. Mortars have turned. Potentially, maybe hitting Space Chimp here. Order's a little short of space chimp. And... Space chimp now... making a run for it. Those mortars could have hurt him more. Run. Calling in smoke the now. Watch. Watch out. Oh shit, did I lose all of early? Six, yeah. two, one. <laughs> Fuck. Warehouse smoke cover coming in soon. Space chimp now, fire team leave for nobody. Yeah, we're shifting east at this time. Shifting east, this westward push isn't working. I did, clear, I did clear the one mine marker on um, gas station, but the northern mine marker had a full spot on it. Alright, uh, let's try to clean up the enemy towards the map border and try to take control of warehouse itself and defend that, at that location. Now, obviously, Russia don't know this, but militia have completely collapsed to the objective. Mortars are actually trying to hit near the map border. So, the guys in the north definitely know they got eyes on them from somewhere. Who knows from where, though? Assault when the smoke clears or when the smoke lands and one will smoke behind. Smoke artillery coming in and there's not a very strong force here. Two squads to go in against like three. Hmm. Here comes the smoke barrage and it lands everywhere. Problem for squad one is their fire team size now. Squad two's rushing in, squad six rushing in, squad one now under fire again. Russia using the smoke to close distance. They're gonna get to this wall and probably reevaluate once the smoke lifts. Uh, the smoke artillery doesn't last very long. But I bet you Blonde Darts knows. Blonde Darts is trying to counter fire on Zaki's movement, but Zaki might be faster. Russians actually throwing smokes and jumping in themselves. Charlie Foxtrot running straight up in here. Everyone's just blindly firing. Nothing can be really seen yet. Take a fire, 210, 210. Honda Hun is made a bold move and crossed the road. Actually puts a couple rounds into Killer J here in the building. Grenade follow-up doesn't connect. Honda Hun is gonna cross in. Oh, that's not a door entrance. He's just gonna walk in here. He's inside the building. And he puts a bullet into you don't see me, and Honda Hun goes down inside the compound. More casualties raised by a panda, Utopian, another squad lead down. Space Chimp now has to take over for that squad, which was already hurt pretty bad. And there's a problem in the south, Alpha Guido and Pritchard go down. As, uh, Ask Me to Rap is, uh, caught between two elements. Google has to move because the AR team is pinning them from the south. Yuri walks over Grissom. Uh, Turkey and Apperly are still down here. Uh, Turkey gets zinged. I'm 
I throw that in I think that was by Malero. Apperly yep. is going to get a nade thrown, and that's going to give a ba strong bounce. It goes off past Apperly here, and uh, he just takes a wound. Ampers and butt. What's it? Happers and butts. Stuck from behind. Right gets destroyed by hot, bu <laughs> hot bunny bitch from Space Jam. <laughs> what a name. Happers now obviously discovered. Finds a little bit of deflated. It's going to crawl back to his buddy. Slowly but surely, Kugels are coming up on the hill here. Same as. Uh, 15 to 19, Mill are out killing Russia. The main force is gone. Point blank mortars. Landing right outside the militia position. And Londart says actually killed someone with the mortar. Zaki tries to go into a room with three people watching it and dies. Grenade. I don't know where that grenade went. Goes in. And Zaki. Oh, Efanks on top of the tire wall. The vertical is rough. Mortar actually landed really close to Mishman at Darking there. That second round lands real close. Darking heals himself. Mishman not bleeding. Zuba is stuck. Oh no, I see. I see the purple ink. Okay, that's better. Another team kill on Mill, if I'm not mistaken. Close, close mortars still being fired from all directions. Oh, and there's Apperly killed Space Chimp. All right, five, uh, three pulling up. But doesn't go in to check and see if he's finished the job. King Bump is still sitting there. Russia now have to make a push work from the south. More range on the mortars means they must suspect Russia are coming from this direction. Zuba gets gunned down north side of the compound. King Bump is still stuck here. Apparently trying to reconnect with his friendly forces. Militia have fallen back again. Sorry, please repeat for the smoke. I think Mad Doctor just spotted something. Oh man, the smoke has to get dropped. They can't make this move without smoke. Ooh, what a th what, what an RPG. King Bump got spotted on the east side here. And he's in the uh, in the coop there. Apparently, has got a great position. He's going to have eyes on all these Russians coming down the hill. Mortars. Oh, nope, the smoke artillery coming through. The big indication that the last push is happening. Mishman and Darking, you gotta take this time to react. They're looking for people to shoot. They're not gonna see anyone. King Bump goes down east side. Right. And here it comes. They're definitely in G3, way to go. You have to go now. There is no other chance. You must take this opportunity. Russia not using all their force to go in. Yep, there's the call. Where's command? Command better be in this. Oh, he's on the other side with those guys. Kind of hard to tell what the action is happening here. Uh, Lance and Malero are shooting inside the building. Oh, do you have a knife? I do have one. Yep, hold on. You can see Dark Prometheus just barely. 
The frag actually killed Dark Prometheus, though. Steve-O dead outside. Blue Jericho bleeds out. Scottish Kama has to bandage himself. Heart also damaged. And meanwhile, Inky goes down on the west side. Mishman, the last man standing on this west push. So much. So many options. He goes in the door. He doesn't survive. Crash, holding the close angle. Grenade goes outside, nothing. So, yeah, this is a good defense for Militia. Uh, numbers are way strong for Militia. Two squads, at least, defending the end here. 25 kills for Russia. Not enough to overcome defender's advantage here. Scottish and Yuri still working it out here. Heart goes down. Uh, ooh, Mischief, Bartok, and Mammon Pete actually made it to the north side. If they can get any shots and weaken this uh, northern approach, might have a chance here. South side looks like Hot Buddy Bitch from Space Jam gets nailed through a window. Nope, he's not. Yeah, push. Land's trying to get some sort of momentum and helping to clear this building. And that's J2 Guns, who's holding inside with a column as cover. Oh, still alive. He's still alive, Chief. He's on, he's on the floor, he's prone. So, they're talking about Sipper right now. I do. Throw that, throw him, don't throw him from the door, just throw it through the, the window. That's a good throw. Sipper doesn't know. Sipper's dead. Hot Bunny Bitch is going in. And tries to clear J2 Guns' position. J2's already moved to the, con the adjacent room. And he's got a great position here. Hot is dead. Killer J got him through the window! Oh, it's so many angles. It's almost suicide to try to go in through here. 50 viewers right now, guys. Thanks so much for coming out and watching. Hopefully trying to give the, uh, the game a little justice here. Round of one going to conclude very shortly as we are down to the wire here for Russia. Lamau XD, I fucking made it. Lamau XD. Friendly, blue, 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 blue. He's gonna call himself out to nobody. You don't see me and Bus Driver Man Stan holding inside here. Mischief gonna see anyone? He does trade with Bus Driver Man Stan. You don't see me adding additional bullets there to make sure he goes down. And Bartok gets gunned by, I think that was crashed through the window here. As he tries to go around. Scottish comma drop Kugel down here in the north. Still looking for an approach. Might try to go swing around the compound. Yuri and Major Reno on the east side looking for their own way in. They actually have a pretty clear approach here, but the problem is there's so many militia left it's not even worth trying to go through. Yuri just trying to add all the taps he can from here. I don't think he can see militia very... Oh, there's actually stuff inside these buildings in the tire factory. The cheese man. Where is he at? In the building between me and you, a little to the west. Okay, so I think Yuri's calling Brabpo. So there is a little bit of a fight going on here, and Yuri takes out Brabpo. The cheese man also takes a second to peek here and kills Yuri. The, you know, so let's go this side. Smoke thrown by Reno. Basically, telegraphs himself. Cheese man looking for kills. Uh, go the other side of the wall and start walking towards the trailer. So down to three Russians left against probably squad plus size force. Hard to tell right now. Londart's still alive though. How many kills Londart's get with that mortar? Two. Drop Kugel and Scottish Kama. Making their way in. They're going to go inside the building here. You don't see me is inside the interior of this building. I think right. Killer J has... I'm actually not looking. Yeah, although... Door the right. You might be able to see. Copy. Alright, peak. Slow bound by peak. Alright, let's see if... 
You don't see we can nail this. I've got Does it see it? Down across there, I think it's friendly down. Uh oh. To my front, going to the next building. As well. Ah! Last gasp. Kugel. It's gonna throw smoke. Oh, that's a grenade, and it hits the doorway. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Doesn't kill, but what you don't see me is wounded. Uh, Reno is still alive. He's side here. He's actually in the compound. He's about to die by free stalker through this door, I think. Yep. Ugh. Reno gets tagged twice by the cheese man. And the cheese man dies, but Reno has got a bandage now, or he's not gonna live. Some shots traded here. And something happens. You don't see me dies. I think, uh, he got shot through a wall. J2 guns. Oh, uh, Reno died. And I think that's it. Kugel just gets dropped from... Yep, Killer J. The angle I thought he was covering originally was this one. Oh, where did he come from? Yeah, you're dead, bud. And I think that's it for round one, though. Anyone else alive? I think that is GG. We're just waiting for the call here. Strong defense, 42 kills, mill. And 11 still on the field, at least for Russia. That is going to do it. Or round one. All right, guys, excellent work uh, defending the objective there in the first round. Obviously very hard um, to assault that particular location, which we're about to find out. Before we get started, uh, as just been reminded, uh, I just put a new video up. Spent a lot of time on it, uh, nearly, nearly two months Woo! on it. It's in the uh, Ops Media channel. It's all about uh, the designated marksmen and uh, looks at whether they're noobs or not. So if you're interested in such things, it. check out the mission. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, as Cut. to how we're going to crack this particular egg. So the militia have a uh, communication device, uh, MTLB, that has an AA cannon on sitting on top of it. Uh, and a whole stockpile of uh, weaponry sitting in the factory at Foxtrot 358. If you open your maps, that's denoted by the red circle, Foxtrot 358. Now in that uh, particular area, um, I don't really want us to be you know, spread out and attack from multiple angles. I want us to be a little bit more concentrated uh, so we can use the full force of the platoon, so we can use squads being bases to fire each other, so we can you know, have a critical mass to try and get as many uh, little green men in on the northeastern side of the compound uh, as possible. So we're gonna stage up first uh, thing that will be happening is uh, squads four and five will be hopping on the transport. I'll be dropping them at the bridge, Hotel 398. They're going to push west, secure uh, the bridgehead for us. I'll then be turning around, picking up um, Alpha Squad and Buster Squad, if need be, and throwing them also up to the bridge for them to take up their positions. Uh, for those of you who see the command marks on the map, Squad 3 is going to be a base of fire down along the river's edge. Uh, it's cold water, so we can't be in the river, but we can be on the edge of it. They can be a base of fire trying to keep the hills that I'm putting helicopters on uh, entertained while Matt squad and Killer squad push west. Um, the hill that's got the Logi truck sitting on it, Golf 379. I'll put two Logi trucks on it. That's our, our stage up area. Once we get most of the platoon online around that general location, I'm going to drop smoke and you guys are going to uh, attack and get a foothold on the northeast side of the factory. Once you get up there, it's gonna boil down to, you know, five team leaders and you individually to communicate with each other and keep the momentum going. Uh, critical to this plan is our speed and our momentum, right? We wanna catch the militia off point. So they've got, a, you know, maybe just one squad sitting there on point. We wanna get in there, take the objective off them and then defend it. Any questions? I have a question. Yeah, go ahead, Liberal. I noticed that we did not actually use the heavy machine gun last round. Will they be using it this time? Well, hopefully not, but uh, expect it. Uh, expect them to, you know, throw everything that uh, they've got at us. They, they want to hang on to the objective, no doubt. Um, but just remember to, um, you know, be violent with your uh, with your action once this kicks off. Um, you know, be plenty of smoke. Be very cinematic. Uh, don't be hanging back. Don't die in a bush. All right, guys, let's get ready for life. Did you call me? Die little? on your feet. 
And we are live with round one, or round two, rather. And here we go. Two squads in the transport, everyone else rolling out at their own leisure. Uh, let's go over and take a look-see at the militia position. Three squads moving north and west all together. Two squads in reserve. Or maybe there's a squad back here somewhere. No, there isn't. One, two, three squads moving out from the objective area. Two squads in reserve. Uh, we're going to take a look at Ask Me to Ramp in this position here. Because I want to see how much is this going to cover. Interesting that they've built a secondary position for sandbags here. and No one's here. So. He's just here by himself. Uh, the me the heavy machine gun is in a mm, it's in a decent position. It covers a little bit less than I thought, but it'd still be a problem. No, it's actually a, it could be devastating depending on how long Russia spend on the double uh, Lodgy helicopter hill. Matter of fact. They just threw the logic. They just threw the transport in there. Violence of action. They're getting up in the buildings. Wow, I did not expect that. That's why I went over to look at the militia position. Squad lead, he's still oh seven on the hill, around a hundred meters. Yeah, if you want to, open fire. We're gonna be, uh, bruising on this uh, mission. Fast I see him, I don't see him. Let me get right I see him, two... Oh, so they're using the transport to move fast. I see what's going on here. Five, seven. On the very top of the hill. Shoot, shoot quick, before he moves. Oh, Man, you're not gonna see him. I'm gonna shoot it. Shots being traded here. Yuri is stuck in the gas station. He's looking for these people to shoot, I think. And he's actually firing back now. Sasa dead, the first casualty. You see his AR floating in the ether there. Shots. Some wounded on militia side. Uh, take a look at the map here. We're still waiting on the rest of the platoon to get here. Command, be advised that area is a, is a no go for the push. Like, we can't even. We're not going to get very close there. It's too open. We have smoke, uh, and you're referring to where the double arrows are? Negative to the area you wanted me to cut, like to get into place to cover the hill. Uh, it's really are you able to get any fire on Foxtrot 336 from any location that's uh, better? We're going to have to move up a bit more. I'll let you know. Roger. A little bit of a snafu in the plan there. SWAT 3 was going to sweep and hold the south flank. And there's a problem with that. Enemies on the G255 hill, directly west of 6. Another Russian dies. This is too early for that to happen. They're pushed off. Winded towards the gun. Roger. And militia definitely playing hard to get here. Entire squad is pushed west from their main hill. And then these guys were up here. Squad 2 was here in Gulf 255. They've pushed back towards no this little sure small village. Echo 2-9. What we can do is we can pull north through that little cluster of buildings. Yuri is still stuck here. Richard Clipper about ready to see what's up in the gas station with Fulcrum. Yuri okay, so uh, 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 is still firing. Copy! 
Does Yuri hear this? Okay, let me suppress. Shots are good. Yuri finds cover. Right, my Bravo team's calling out contact inside. Sorry, I didn't station. mean to make that mark. Yeah, do you want to get a grenade in there? Yeah, I'm I'm the suppress. Um, we've got plenty of troops here. We a good grenade throw might do it. Copy. Let's see, Richard. What do you got? It's a good throw. Yuri saw it. The Fulcrum's dead again. Yikes. Richard Chipper puts a bullet into Yuri. Yuri just runs straight into him. Fisco, this is round two. Meanwhile, squad three tried to cross the open. Big sad. They're getting pinched from two directions. Uh, Grissom, we have the store, uh, Northwest. They're trying to return some fire here. These guys are in way too good of a position. From what we can see, there are no, no smokes being used yet, and Russia are still losing people. Able to take that hill to your west. Six for one? Yeah. Uh, Mill killed six already? Roger, make sure you got really good spacing when you get up. That doesn't make sense. Will do. Those numbers I don't think are correct. HMG revealed itself. That was an accident. I can guarantee you. I've got two times tactical smoke. I can use one for you guys to cover the yeah, ground. Sure. Take gas station and the hill. Do you need it? Yes or no? Yeah, stay on the road. Mortars. Mortars is going Mortars might be coming on to Grissom's fire team here in the uh, south. I think the enemies in the gas station fell back. Alright, let's see where these land. They're coming in. Command, also had contacts at Gulf 3 4. Ooh. Tremblay majorly hurt. But not bleeding. They sound like the mortars land on the gas station. Alright, well that would be a clue they probably fell back from there. Tremblay lucky, none of the shrapnel from the from the mortars have come through the windows. I can drop it over to a gas station, would that be of use? That would definitely be of use. Watch left in my squad through that smoke to try to get to that hill. Militia actually emboldened here to try to uh, hold this position. Once this kicks off, the, gonna move on. The, fire the fire is being returned here from uh, more mortars off point. Off target, rather. Grissom is actually uh, punched out on his own here. He's found another building. There's a lot of fire still happening up north. Militia are actually very... They're holding a lot more than I thought. Round one, we saw Militia basically fall back from first contact. And Russia were trading pretty well at first contact. Uh, this time, though, doesn't seem to be the case. And they're only coming from one direction. Militia... Russia are just biding their time. Smoke is coming in, and it's going to be good. Let's, let's see how s this squad reacts. These guys in the south, though, are kind of in trouble. Happers and right. Yeah. They're going to bypass it. Mm. They're going to walk right up on Obo Loco, Scottish Kama. Blue Jericho, Major Reno. Um, Scottish Kama going to be the most exposed here. They don't see him. They're getting close to audio distance here. Right, or Scottish might hear them. If Wright brushes against these rocks and causes one of those sounds to come through, Wright's going to see Scottish and he's going to blow the cover here. Alright, be advised. It's still at least one, uh, about, uh, just a bit bigger than a fire team on the Gulf 2 fire These guys are in buildings. They're not making any forward progress. The smoke is starting to land. 
El Bolo Loco knocks Hapers out. Right is down. Couldn't win the trade against uh, that militia guy there. And here comes the smokes. Some mortars landing close to Grissom. Smokes are landing past the gas station and squad one is falling off. Russia have to use this opportunity to get in here and there's a lot of people still in these buildings. The northern guys haven't even moved for like five minutes at this point. Alpha's gonna go ahead and run through to the smoke and try to get across here. Smoke's out. Make sure you're good spacing, take up that ground, get a tactical down, I'll drop the next smoke. So they're just gonna make a leapfrog. To push south and push with the main platoon or keep pushing the north up here? Uh, southwest. Aggressively. Southwest. Copy. Lon's trying to get bus driver to move. Is just to make sure that uh, they don't come in from you know your north, your northwest. Will do. Honda Hun still holding pretty close here, waiting for them to come up over this hill. Actually, they're trying to figure out how they're going to defend this position. Right, any squad leader in position to drop a tactical to your west? I can adjust. We need to be quick. Yeah, we need to be quick for that very reason. Get Mortars looks like they're off. They're moving towards Apperly down here. But they're not going to quite swing that far south. Could be wrong about that though. Uh, Mortars landed past Apperly. Full platoon assault, northeast corner of the compound. Six, you'll be coming in last. Don't stay out there too long. This is... Mm. going to trail by two, three hundred meters and just make sure we don't get chewed up on our north, northwest. Copy that. This is a... Chain of command, if I go down, will be Guido and then squad leader order. Apperly's got to figure out a way to get out of this position. They're throwing mortars way out here. That's hitting trees. Apperly is stuck here. Command, be advised, there is a full squad down there at Gulf 4-5. Oh, Kugel's moving in. Area. Uh, my squad's got to push up to Gulf 3-4 in the smoke just to kind of the edge. Is it tournament? No, this is a one-life event. Make sure that we don't get rolled up from the south as we're doing. Not a tournament. Roger, your weapon's free if you got eyes on them now. Just pin them in place. All other we squads assault. Here comes Smokes. It's actually going to envelop their own position. Might be a little difficult for them to move through, but ultimately all they got to do is just avoid the trees. Ooh, some of these smokes are landing up on the treetops. And here we go. The main Russian port force is pushing in. Shots fired, Bartok goes down. They're so close. They're intermixed at this point. Grenades. Alpha Guido eats a grenade. More grenades being thrown here. Kugel puts a burst in the in the butts. It's right. Trying to fire a semi in uh, full auto. Madman Pete kills Turkey. 29th AD falling apart. Mischief actually flunked all the way, flanked all the way around behind. Butts pushed up on Kugel. Doesn't have the drop on him. And from behind, Mischief just fired. What is that gun? You take the foul? He's a G. He's a G3. Wow. What a Chad. You don't see that every day. Um, Russia had made it into the compound, though. It was pretty much little resistance. And they are out of tactical smoke. Once dead. 
Look at this position from Headbuster. Oh, that's a brutal place for an AR. Russia also intermixed with uh, militia up here in the north. Oh, Honda Hunt goes down. Colty's dead. Roger, if you can deal with that best you can, six, if you can Grenade close to ask me to ramp, and uh, he's got a bandage now. You also have a fire team element at 262 two to your north. Ask me to ramp, kill Shig. Here comes the bandage. Are they going to hear it? Dark Prometheus talking over command, so he's probably not going to hear it. We're going to go back down. There's still a lot of people on this hill. There's a lot of militia forming up for a big sweep behind the Russian flank. They gotta move. They can't just sit here. All right. Uh, Nobody's looking. Okay. These guys are moving in the open. Them. Uh, Hearts, you're gonna come in with the uh, squad three guys. It's time to go. Yeah, I heard you. Uh, move off when you're ready. Thought I heard a shot fire down there. Meanwhile, the main Russian force still having problems with Headbuster in this glorious position he's in. Squad threes guys, and we're pushing with them uh, to point. Okay, what you say, I'm getting in. And here we go. They're moving down the hill now. I just heard pain sounds from somewhere around me. Mortars now being fired close in, right in the way of where 29th ID and the rest of the guys down the hill were trying to run to. Tremblay testing fate here, running straight towards the mortars. Yeah. Meanwhile, the AR that was watching the uh, the north bombed out section here is down. DJ Russ here, now getting support from the rest of Squad Two from the north. Do we, have any eyes on the we are starting to clear. And Zaki or Inky's in the MTLB. Oh, look at that. That's such a great position. He's in the turret. The door is being closed. An entire squad is moving in from behind. Militia are shutting the door on this really hard. There's a door. Is there? No, there isn't. All right, well, mortars have stopped. Let's do this, now or never. Yeah, we might as well just get in. Malero... Yep. Uh... Isn't shooting. Yep. I'm now he is. Well, Real quick, I'm interested in finding a location where we can hit that big Mine! <laughs> wow, Malero. Big, big move here. That was a grenade. There's a big grenade rush. Bus driver eats it. Apparently goes down. Can't the fence can't save him. Where are you coming from? And that is the Russian push. Going to be dealt with pretty quickly here. Russia got to make it across the road to get into the compound. That's all they can do at this point. DJ Russ eats a grenade. And uh, it's at Keiko time, gets shot from the east now. As the sweeping force comes in. Behind, behind, behind. Uh, one ten. The call out is behind. Grenades coming through. Charlie Foxtrot put a bullet into Pritchard. Lagar survives, but he gets shot in turn. And uh, Reese gets lasered by Gamork from the prone position, makes the big turnaround to do it. Gamork goes down as Lance, I think, jumped over the wall. That's exactly what happened. Copy. Pritchard is still up. What else can you do? <laughs> He's getting toyed with an entire squad to take down one man, and it's now down to Matt Honcho and Londards. Nope, there's actually the fire team back there, but they're not going to be important right now. Yeah, there's only a couple of us left. Man, Honcho. Push this doorway. There's a frag somewhere. Almost kills himself. Runs out.
<laughs> Utopian is still in the mortar. <laughs> mortar on me. Mortar's down. Darking turns around and looks to see dead Utopian on the mortar. North, northwest ish. And that is Dark Prometheus going down. He had command comms, didn't use it, and there's also a team kill in there somewhere. Roy and Sefer are now the only ones on Russia outside the base. Here comes everyone else. Londarts makes it into the compound. Matt Honcho found uh, Mishman in here. Mr. Toaster tries to put some bullets in. Londarts runs in, puts a bullet in. Copy. Londarts has to bandage. Everybody's running in now. Fob the Builder. Northwest. Matt Honcho hears him. He's crawling. That's a lot of noise. Reloading. Roy and Sefer need to get in here. The sweeping squad is now coming back in to live at the base. Coming through the door to your uh, north. You know? right Honcho killed Vuk. MTLB, the turret. Not what you expect to see. Fob the Builder kills from inside the building here where the radio is. And it's just down to Londarts. Roy and Sefer are still moving, but they're not moving fast enough. Londarts now surrounded. Darking looking for a way to shoot through the window at him. Hot Bunny peeked ask. through the murder hole. And War Daddy walks right in front of him and destroys Londarts. Sefer's dead over here is just Roy on Russia. What a collapse for the Russian strategy here. Militia threw a squad down south, and they didn't think they were going to see any action. But they came in and saved the day. Throw from Roy hits a tree. Doesn't connect. Brutal. 24 kills Russia. Not enough. Not as much as uh, Russia around one. More than two squads remaining. It's a pretty big margin of victory here for Mill. Roy's got an RPG. Perhaps a deception smoke throws south, goes west. Yeah, that's what's happening here. Hood and Yuri have got this guy dead to rights, though, if he makes a move. Roy is looking for a shot with an RPG. Is he just going to yeet it into the compound from here? How crazy would it be if he actually got a kill? Tootson is on the HMG behind him. Hood might have a shot on this. I think Roy saw him. Roy saw him! Hood didn't react in time. Yuri's close. Yuri crawling. I think... I think Roy saw him. No, he didn't. Cover to cover. Roy find out by Captain Morgan. No shots connect. And Yuri finally stands up and walks around. My heart. Well done, Roy. Well done. Thanks, bro. Well done, Roy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Some talking after death there, but that is going to do it for us. That is round two. Pretty speedily done. Don't think there's anyone else alive. And that is GG. 25 and 41.